Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Ross here, and welcome back to episode 5 now of the People's Republic of China. Now, in episode 4, we secured the Korean Peninsula and forced the Japanese off of the mainland. Um, also, I was deciding about going to war or not with Russia. Well, you see this up here, this is the available war goal, and that's actually what I sped forward for. There's some other things I sped forward for, um, so hence um, 20 un 4 units of infantry that are now training. Um, I'm going to be deploying an army basically every 30 or 90 days. So roughly every 90 days I'll be deploying an army. Um, and hopefully they get all on time. And actually, you know what? Well, we'll wait for the first one to get, and then we'll actually just uh, forward deploy the rest. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be deploying a full 24-man army every roughly um, 90 days, three months. And we're going to actually use, use some of this 12.45 uh, million manpower. Um, some other things, uh, well, we need a navy. Um, I have a whole two left because I actually one built over here and I tried to move it over and they 37 <laughs> ships from the Japanese Imperial Navy came over and destroyed me now the battle plans are all set uh, We're gonna have some issues though right away with uh, production because as soon as we do this We're gonna lose a lot of metal that we're trading with Russia Um our Chinese brothers probably are not going to be too happy, but we need to do something and we need to do something fast because we are going to take forever to get over to Japan. And this series is going to be really boring if we don't do something. So without further delay, declare war. Initiate battle plans. 81 strong. And pray to God that this works. So it's called in all their brothers. Our battle plans have started. We are winning some battles. We are losing others. We've already gained some territory already. And this is what we like to see. Hopefully we can also start overrunning units. Um, we are doing really well because uh, justification, yeah, we don't need that justification anymore. Um, we have non aggression packs that we need to accept up here. Uh, these are all the ones that they are at war with. Um, we could get some supplies from other, uh, well, other places, but that would all require transports, and we are not going to risk transports right now, as that would not be advantageous to our own self. Um, we could try to change uh, trade with uh, our neighbors and trade with China. Oh, but oh, we would take all our civilian factories. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, let's do half. I eh, will do half. I mean, so we're down oil, we're just down some steel, but hopefully we can actually secure on this northern uh, border. Look at this. Uh, steel, 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 steel. That's what we're looking for. Um, Switzerland has capitulated. Uh, cap yeah, whatever. That word. Uh, we can actually rush ahead and get 1942 tech uh, in December 1940. I, I, yeah, I will definitely do that one. Um, we are winning the battles. That's all that really matters. Um... The, this front is actually the, I guess, the more important one. And, and why I say it's more important right now is we need to secure this area, but also I want to secure this so we can act, move in one direction, westbound. Uh, I don't want to move, uh, you know, any other direction that, other than westbound. Um, our armies are getting light. Why is he... See, this is dangerous. Okay, well, I don't know why freaking that happened, but... Stop. I don't know why it keeps on saying it's retreating. Stop. I, no, fuck my life. Saw that coming a mile away. Um, Jesus Christ. I don't know. I was moving them away from battle and it said he was retreating, but he was at four, uh, full organization. Um, yeah, okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that game. Uh, let's uh, move for uh, decryption, uh, 128 days for that. Uh, we are fighting two separate wars now. Um, Russia is fighting Germany. We are fighting Germany. Um, they declared war, but they have not declared war on freaking Poland, which is annoying. The Allies seem like they're trying, they're doing a decent job of holding them in France. Uh... But we have lots of green numbers all over the place. Uh, lots of green numbers. And actually, you know what? I said I wasn't going to do this yet, but they are... Oh, gosh. You know what? They're close enough. 
We're gonna deploy all 24 army. We are gonna send them over to this battle plan over here uh, to reinforce that battle plan. Um, because that that that's I think is the weakest battle plan under here. This is 44 divisions, uh, 25 there, and 35 there. So it was the weakest. It is not now, but uh, we'll see what the next cycle is. Next cycle cycle is going to be ready on 24 April 1941. So it is five January. So February, March, April. So yeah, three months. That is not bad at all. Every three months to get another 24 man army. Pretty damn good. And we have full supply. Just FYI, I mean, that's another good reason why I'm doing this, is that we have the full supply, so we can actually do this. We're not too worried about it, so as long as they get somewhat trained, um, hopefully we'll get more training as time goes on. Uh, Japan is invading here. I wish I could see the Allies' battle plans, but I cannot. Uh, I can see my own neighbors, but they don't have a battle plan at all. Um, actually, let's talk to our Allies. Let's see, can we get them? Okay, join wars? Uh, nope, they're participating in all wars already. Okay. So we're already moving into Sinkang uh, very effectively. Uh, movingly decent enough into German Reich has declared war. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Germany breaks the pact. Awesome. So now Russia ha has two fronts. So either way, um, as long as they press that and they press it hard, uh, we should see progress. Pressing on. Time moving forward. Uh... Russians are there. I don't know why they're redeploying. Why are you redeploying? All the way over there. You're on this battle plan, dude. Get back there. Seriously, why are you moving all the way over there? Freaking... Uh, whatever. I don't understand this sometimes. I really, really don't. It just It's baffling. Absolutely baffling. Uh, one of our goals is we to try to get this naval base over here to... Uh, you know, cut off supply, freaking, you know, just like normal, cut off supply, surround units as best we can. Um, you know, I don't know if they have supply issues. Organization is pretty damn well. I like to see that. That's good. So we really need to keep on pressing and pressing hard. It seems we are making we are making progress, though. And this is a multiple, you know, the multiple uh, enemies on this single front. So it's not just uh, it's not just one ally or another. See, I. Why do we have two front lines? Why did that happen? Like seriously, it's one singular front line. You don't have to double length it. Oh god. Oh okay. Now in. <laughs> I swear to God. Sometimes I swear to God. Um. <laughs> I just don't understand. They, for some reason, the AI AI managed this and then put two front lines over each other, so one on top of the other, and then they kindly freaking just, you know, ah, God, sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna half there, uh, the half here. Actually, let's do. Half here, and then half of that here. Okay, so what do we got? We got 52 vi divisions, 26. Um, yeah. That's going to have to do for right now. That's just going to have to do. And they're all going to reposition it and, like, freaking... And I don't understand this. Why are you repositioning this unit all the way over there uh, I guarantee they have units coming all the way back over here. Where where is it? Somewhere, I can tell you that. Somewhere. See, we're just. Oh my god. It's, I just need to manually control stuff sometimes. They're they're sending all of them away. Every single unit here, they're sending away. Jesus fucking Christ, dudes. What are you doing? A You assigned all the units over here to over here. And then where, do you, where are you sending these guys? Send them there. Where are you sending these guys? Send them there. 54. Stop. What the? They were assigned here. Why are you sending them over there? God. 
Okay, what we need to do is hit stop. I don't understand. The, the, why are you moving them all different directions? This does not make any sense, dudes. Why? Who are you moving over to this front then? Anybody? Nobody. There's no one moving. Ugh. Thank you. Still don't know why you're moving in all crazy directions. I don't I don't understand it. You're really severely pissing me off now. It just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. You're going to cost us freaking all kinds of initiative. I just want to change battle plans. I don't want to change everything. Like seriously, bros. Seriously. Just get in fucking position. Stop fucking around. Why are you still moving around? Like, seriously, why are you coming here and then moving over here? It, I just said get on one freaking order. One order. Which is not even an order. It's just stay on the freaking line. Why are you moving all over the place? Oh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So... Let's do offensive line. Offensive line is here. So around behind these mountains. Then I don't know why it, it doesn't have screen scrolling, but that might just be because of my setup. But let's move. Okay, so what do we got? That's 58 divisions assigned to that. And it ends there so let's okay so let's now select these units and those units and assign them this that's 22 divisions let's just take this and assign it there that's 24 divisions okay do we have a, nice, a good plan here okay can you please just engage plan and stop sending troops all over the place Oh, no, no, you're going to still do it. The pains of trying to freaking control the AI sometimes. I just want to, I mean, how much we got? That's six selected and we're beating uh, Russians of eight, um, which that's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, just go there. Seriously, stop looking for freaking, I don't understand. You, you guys are not even advancing. I said take the freaking battle plan and you're just sitting there like, oh, uh, what's going on, guys? Is, are we supposed to be doing something? You know, I don't know what you want me to do, but I'm just going to sit here like a retard. Fucking Christ. I need those freaking mountains with those resources. Where are they? Look at that. 28, 10, 12. Yes. Give me that. We actually really need to get the oil there. Need those oil fields. Need those oil fields. We still don't have any resistance, which is quite interesting. But I'm not going to complain. It's just we don't have it. Oh my gosh. How the hell did you get in there? Ugh. You know, constantly freaking reacting to these freaking stupid... Japan declared war on them. Awesome. Um, these stupid freaking... Like, little naval invasions. It's like, seriously. It's like you're deploying, like, what, two units for naval invasion freaking every other month? I mean, you're just, you're making this, this game fucking annoying. That's all you're doing. Five units, thanks. And you're, I mean... <sighs> it, it just, it really makes the game annoying because I can't freaking just concentrate. It's not like it's one massive freaking invasion where, I, like, you know, it's like, haha, we fucked you or anything because we planned something better than you were expecting. It's quite literally, um, you know, let's just send a couple units here. Um, they won't have any supply. They're not going to take a port. Um, and you know what? It's just, we're going to ignore the fuck out of you with simple AI mechanics. Um, like, why is this 52%? They don't have freaking a single 
I mean, how many units? That's three units and four in return. Why do they have 221 defense? They have no supply. Um, oh, yeah, they freaking country terrain. Fucking Jesus Christ. Sometimes. Sometimes. Game is starting to annoy me at points. So we need to make a offensive line for here. Okay. Engage. We're going to make the offensive line for this one. No. No. No, 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 no. It's a separate army, dude. Come on. So this is why it's sometimes better to freaking... Uh, freaking uh, make battle plans one after the other. So it's using the same... I mean, it's like, why am I going up there? There's no point for it to go for the wave to go from up uh, all the way over there. I want this wave, but I can hit tab all I want, but it's not. There we go. So I can get it there with 24 divisions. Then, then there. Okay, then there. Okay. So we're just going to kind of bunny hop across here. And we'll make the next one there. Okay, so that's plans for that army. Um, this plan will be there. And then there. And yeah, so hopefully that freaking does that. So... Ah, Mongolia capitulated. Freaking still fighting these guys. Turkey has joined the war. Yay. Um, just, you know, make it more fun, please. You know, just make people declare war on me from halfway across the world. Okay, so that's f handled. Okay, any more other freaking stupid invasions? Other than in Fran uh, France controlled area, which I really can't be bothered with right now. Um. Okay, we're going to take this troop and move them up here to get rid of this airfield. I don't know if we have freaking airplane problems, but I don't want any airplane problems. So we're going to take those away because they really do not have many bases around here. Um, another thing we're going to do is we're going to select all these guys uh, and we're going to rush like that. So hopefully, uh, if they meet any resistance, they'll, they'll reassign themselves to the front line. But we will actually also redesign that. We'll pin those guys down. That will be a good pin pincher maneuver. Uh, do we have any other way we can pinch? Oh, we can pinch right here. Oh, no. Come on. There. We're going to pinch there. So we're going to try to uh, take these units out. Um, we're going to keep on pinching them down. Uh, same thing we did against the Japanese. Uh, pinch and maneuver. So, I mean, I don't know how many are here. Um, but there's at least some, and it really doesn't matter how much it is. Oh, we have free military factories. Okay. Um, getting dockyards in too, which is very nice. Uh, 6.82 a year. <laughs> okay, what? Yeah, uh, I mean, the only thing we can produce right now is military equipment. So, yep, we're going to produce more military equipment. <laughs> um... We still have, we're going to still have supply issues and material issues for some time. We do not have the supplies to freaking, to really correct that issue right now. And I really don't want to risk all my convoys because I have 15 that are already dedicated to, um, for naval invasion plans, which they're going to stay there. Oh, okay. Seriously? Again. Or, or is it still? They don't have any supplies. Yet they're still freaking 256 defense. Like, seriously, bros. 28 days? Seriously? 28 days. I just don't understand it at all. 120 with against 30 something, and. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sign a non aggression pact with you. How's this pocket going? Okay. 
Now this is a, it's a dangerous tactic to try to go after pockets like this. You can definitely get cut off. Um, your units are gonna, the AI is, uh, your, a, your AI, meaning the AI that's controlling the battle plans will try to um, effectively freaking fill those gaps with divisions. And you could severely get caught with like divisions behind enemy lines, get cut off and so forth and so on. Um, but if we can get the close it like this off here, which we now we did, now we're gonna have units that are cut off from resupply. And it's only two, but it's still, it's two infantry divisions that are not gonna get to be in the game for the, you know, the rest of the game. And seriously, again, this, I think I just need to move the army over to here because it's the same freaking spot again. I just don't understand it at all. You keep on sending freaking units with absolutely no supply. It's not enough freaking, you're, you're, it's not enough units. Uh, you're just gonna keep on getting fucked and losing it, but you're just gonna keep on sending them just really just to annoy the crap out of me. And really that's, you know, it's almost like the freaking highlight of this is freaking episode is AI annoying the fuck out of me. Uh -huh. Oh, dear Jesus. Okay, so we got another hole, another pocket. Um, another pocket's capturing um, what looks to be about, be about maybe sex. Oh, we do have a, a larger pocket here as well. Um, and we're going to, again, just keep on with this. Uh, I mean, it's I know I keep on saying it, but I mean, it really is the, you know, entire uh, tactics of mine is to encirculate uh, disrupt the the plans, take out as much as possible. Um, so then you can just kind of keep on pushing. Because the more that you push, uh, the, the better it is. Oh, they're so close. Another 24 units about to join us. Uh, they're done in, uh, what do you call it? April 24th. So a couple more days, they're going to be done. They're going to be helping us. Because, um, I mean, we're winning on this eastern front. That's for damn sure. Um... So actually, we're gonna split that one off there, split that off there. Sometimes the AI like does does not want to advance, no matter what you do. Okay, we're gonna move that forward. Uh, we're gonna split half of them, and then half of them we're gonna tell stop, move there. Uh, actually, half go here. And it's actually only one go forward. All of you go forward. Keep on pressing. Don't stop. Don't you stop. I hate how, like, you know, the keep on just re, you know, repositioning freaking all these battalions everywhere it is. Everywhere. It's like, please, just, please just swallow them. <laughs> you know, swallow them up. Get rid of them as fast as possible. Uh, I can't wait. There's a new patch that's actually coming out to make uh, freaking your, uh, your AI aggressive. Oh, shoot. They gained that property back, huh? And now it's across the freaking hill. Not good. Get over there. Get over there. Get, yeah, you go there, you go there. Repositioning, repositioning, come on. Okay, 24 have been deployed, uh, are ready to go. Let's um, think about where we want to deploy them. Um, how many units are in this battle plan? Okay, that's only 20 divisions. That's 18. That is not what I had on there at all. Um, and actually, let's let's select half of that and put that there. So 32 and 30 respectively. I mean, that's fine. I think the next 24 we might rush train because the one problem with Russia is we do need to just get. See, fucking Christ. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> it really is. This is quite possibly like the most annoying thing ever. It just to keep on going back over and over again. Freaking getting these one, 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 one. Oh, you're sending one unit. Oh, you're sending one unit. It's out. Oh, uh, see, even over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Even over here. It's this. This is beyond annoying. Beyond annoying. Let's go to close this pocket. I think once we close this pocket, this is going to be the last part of this episode. We're going to get rid of their oh, almost final airport over here. Uh, we're going to move this. We're going to have to move this bunch down as it is. 
um, to counteract whatever the fuck the Japanese are trying to do over here. Um, and again, they're trying to redeploy freaking shit already. Come on, just go in there. Stop worrying about other shit. Close it off. Okay, so we close that off. Let's uh, get there. That's 15 divisions, 15 divisions. That's your war goal, and go start your war goal. Um, you guys, come crush this, please. Um, you can, yeah, you go there. You go there. You go up there. Don't know where the rest of you guys are going, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, we got the decryption. That's great. 1940 encryption now. Oh, man. Where's those resource fields? Oh, we're so close to them. Oh, where's the... Push! Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Resource fields, please. Very important. Very, very important to get those resource fields. Come on, let's do that. Let's get that freaking metal and shit. Come on. Fall Berlin. What? Fall of Berlin? Oh, okay. <laughs> United Kingdom and their freaking invasions, man. United Kingdom and their invasions. It's just amazing. Freaking, it's 1941 Germany. They outnumbered so much. Freaking, this, we started this in 1936. The German military was so strong. And yet, oh, we can just land troops freaking in Germany like nothing happened. Oh, there's no, there's no way, like, it's Italy, Nationalist Spain, and Germany. They'd even attack Poland, and somehow United Kingdom can just land freaking divisions like they have freaking that much force, and they don't. That's just the sad thing, guys, is that, you know, there's no reason that United Kingdom should have a hundred freaking uh, divisions in 1940 for any fucking reason. Um, they did not have the manpower. They did not have the industri uh, industrial might to do it at that time. Um, I mean... Crap, even by 1940 freaking in this game, freaking Britain somehow has like, you know, 2000 fighters at the freaking the start of, you know, the Battle of Britain. They were lucky if they had freaking 600 operational fighters. Um, yeah, they might have had a thousand fighters altogether. But, you know, the key thing is operational fighters. Um, I know, this, you know, this is on the alternate line and everything that I even made myself like it's alternate history, but you know, this alternate history aspect is just sometimes just a kind of annoying is because it's just un it is entirely unrealistic. You know, alternate history is all, you know, good and everything, but actually having it realistic is, you know, important is because, well, you're not trying to play an unrealistic game. You want a realistic game that just has an alternate history and now I'm going making this episode a lot longer just to bitch about this because this this is something that's really annoying. Some of these games are really fun because the AI really behaves, you know, as it should. Certain countries are strong like it should be. Um, and I know like, oh, yeah, well, you know, People's Republic of China didn't freaking push back Japan. Well, maybe if they worked together and united. Maybe they could have. Um, maybe if they responded faster, they could have. Um, maybe if they stopped fighting each other, maybe they would have. There's a whole bunch of would has, could has, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, it's just okay. Like seriously, why did you? Or why are you retreating? I put you put you in a move order and you retreated. You have full freaking uh, everything, but you're gonna retreat because and you didn't have a mission plan at all. But you're gonna retreat. That's how you get overrun. That's how you get overrun. Thank you though. Thank you for just being a dick of an AI. But yeah, okay, fine. That's where we're going to end this episode. Um, sorry with, for all the bitching, but man, the AI is quite annoying sometimes. Uh, AI is annoying with trying to freaking make battle plans. Uh, you're be, you should be able to make ma and multiple battle plans like this and not have freaking the AI freaking just question your entire battle plan and moving the same units. The, all the units are exactly the same. None of my units are better than the other. They're all the same. Um, but you're going to move one unit from literally you know, <laughs> 2,000 miles away to over here. 
and then move this unit over there. Why? I don't know. So we haven't invaded Japan yet. We still need to do that. But Japan now is part of a large war. We need to take out Germany. And we also now need to take out the Soviet Union. Uh, Soviet Union is going to be a force to deal with. I really was counting the German Reich doing what they're supposed to do, which is kind of, you know, take out freaking United Kingdom and France. It is freaking 1941. Uh, they should have a multi, you know, million man army right now. Um, but no, it just seems that, you know, a, a United Kingdom produces 100 freaking units out of nowhere uh, while being dem uh, democratic. And yeah, um, didn't attack Poland, uh, didn't take Yugoslavia. And they have freaking fascists Spain and Italy, but yet they can barely press into France. And they attacked Switzerland and Luxembourg. But how now Luxembourg is a multi-unit freaking... It's only supposed to be that, but it's all Luxembourg now. Fucking Jesus Christ. As always, if you guys please, if you like this video, you like the series, hit that thumbs up. Put down in the comments what you think. Uh, I love reading them, and I try to respond to all the ones, at least all the good ones. Um, but yeah. Until next episode, I'm the Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.